Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. And before I say anything else, I know, I know. It's been forever since I filmed a video and I just wanna say I'm sorry, girl. I have been working so hard outside of YouTube and literally I was doing project after project after project and <laughs> my YouTube channel kind of suffered. But that means I wasn't able to film and chat with you guys and I don't want you guys to feel like I just said deuces and like, I forgot about you because I haven't. I've been wanting to film videos for the longest and I'm finally here. I just want to say thank you to all the newbies that came to my channel. What's up new subscribers? What's good? Thank you guys so much and I'm excited for this year. This year has been pretty lit so far and I want to continue the litness, okay? I didn't even get a chance to eat yet. I had to get myself some coffee just so that I was like, you know what? I have left my booze long enough. You can you can eat after this video, girl. The skin is looking spring ready. It's looking youthful. Ooh, let me know if you guys want a skincare video because I have been using some bomb products lately that have been changing my life. So let me know if you guys want to see a skincare routine, day and night. Let me know down below in the comment section or take this poll right here. Anyways, today's video is on the new NARS natural radiant foundation and by new i don't mean it just launched yesterday just it's new as far as like the, their newest foundation but it's not new to the beauty community i'm just late i actually bought this a while back like when it first launched and i was like oh i'm gonna do a video on it but girl so anyways i'm gonna do a video on it today because it is still fairly new it's new to me i haven't tried it yet and we're just gonna jump right in so like I said, this is the newest foundation to the NARS family. I actually own one more NARS foundation, um, which is, which one is this? The Sheer Glow. So I have Sheer Glow. I didn't really, honestly, I can only recall maybe once or twice that I've used this and I wasn't wowed by it. And I didn't pick up for it again. Is that a bad thing? I don't know, maybe I should try it again. Maybe I should give her another try. I actually should give her another try so I can compare the two. But for now, I just wasn't wild by this one, okay? So I'm hoping this one gives me some sort of like, ooh, what's, what's this? Like I want to feel like this with this foundation. Okay, so the website states there's long wear and then there's strong wear. Oh, I like that strong wear. I'm gonna have to use that. Introducing NARS first 16 hour foundation that stays turned on by the power of radiance. Untraceable, unstoppable, unlike anything else. Long wear is finally lightweight and radiant. Okay, so what I'm looking for in this foundation is like the key points that they have. So 16 hour wear. I don't wear my, I usually don't wear my foundation 16 hours, so I won't be testing that out today. Natural radiant finish, okay, because as you can see, your girl likes to shine. It's transfer resistant. I want to test that theory. I really do. Sweat resistant, which y'all know summer is coming up, so this might be a good foundation. And fade resistant. Also, it's non-drying. Okay, you guys, so we are going to test this out. It also said that it's suitable for all skin types, so like sensitive skin, dry skin, oily skin, combination skin. I have combination skin, oily combination skin. So shall we just put her on and just like see what she does? Let's do that. Oh, I forgot my little thing. But I'm just going to go in with my Fenty primer because this literally is like my favorite primer. We'll talk about that in another video, but this primer, I feel like it just works with everything. So I'm just going to put this on my face. Before I put on the foundation, I'm going to do light color correcting. Not like I really need it, but like I just want to do some under the eyes. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to try to keep this all within the NARS family. I don't have a lot of NARS product, but what I do have, I'm going to try to use in this video. Okay, so I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade. In the shade Am Amande. Is it Amande? If it's not, don't kill me. My absolute favorite what am I thinking about? <laughs> My favorite concealer. I freaking love the NARS Creamy Radiant. I don't know if the formula has gotten better since like over the over the years, but for some reason it's been extremely lit for me lately and I don't know why. So I don't know if they just like improved the formula on the low and didn't tell nobody, but I really love it. So I'm just going to blend this in under my eye just to brighten my eyes so it doesn't look so dull. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my foundation, and the shade that I have this in is Macau. Now, hmm, and I'm hoping this is the right undertone. I don't know, cause I can't remember if the lighting was bad and I couldn't tell, but from the from the bottle, it looks a little golden, but then it kind of looks a little warm, I, I'm not sure. I feel like the Macau in the sheer glow is a lot cooler just by comparing it through the bottle than the Macau in this formula, the Natural Radiant. Let's take a little bit and then apply it to our neck. I say our, like it's all of your necks, it's just mine. And then pat it in. Can y'all see that? I, s I feel like it's a little warm. It is a tiny bit warmer than my skin tone. It really is, because I can see it on my neck. It may not pick up on camera, but I can see it on my neck. But it's not like, I might be this shade in the summer, like stay in the sun for five minutes, I'll be this shade. It's not too much off. But the undertone is a little, it's a little warm. Anyways, we're gonna go in, I'm gonna put it on the butt of my beauty blender. So it's not really watery, it's not very liquidy. Not like the um, Fenty foundation. And I'm gonna start at the bottom. Oh yeah, she's a little warm. That's weird, I feel like this one is a lot cooler looking than the other one. But hey, who am I? All right, so off top, it's a very natural finish. Very, very natural finish, but I feel like it covers, but I feel like it covered pretty well under my chin. And that is a gorgeous, uh, <laughs> it is a gorgeous shade, actually. Macau is definitely a very gorgeous shade. I like applying, lately I have been trying to do the less is more approach when it comes to like my complexion products because I hate settling in my lines and a lot of the shoots that I've done, like the makeup artists, I've been learning a lot from like different makeup artists and um, their approach to makeup is like, you know, the natural beauty, letting your skin shine, you don't have to pal it on, which there's nothing wrong with a cake face, but I don't like the way that feels. And this feels extremely light, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just keep going because I'm so far I'm liking how it applies. Look how smooth that looks, you guys. That looks really, really good. So, like with my leftover product, I go over my smile lines because this is my problem area. This is where I get decreasing all the time, and it's to the point to where I'm just like, okay, what can I do about it? Because I hate that. So I just barely put product on it. I put like leftover product so that it doesn't crease too much. But so far I'm loving, look how natural that, look. okay, let's blend this part. That's a very natural finish. I didn't even do the top, but it just looks like my skin. You see that? I haven't applied anything up here, just right here. And I feel like it looks really good. Oh my God. Now, one thing I noticed that it did not mention is that it's shine proof. It's meant to be like a radiant, um, finish however I feel like if you have oily skin a lot of times those foundations that tend to um, have like that more radiant look you just look like a grease ball and I'm not trying to look like that I like to look like I'm glowing without the grease you know what I mean so so far I feel like it's still allowing there's like a radiant shine to it we would have to set her really good so she doesn't get greasy but guys that finish so far I mean who's ready for the Bahamas she, she's ready for the Bahamas I feel like this is giving me vacation skin that's what it's doing so far like I feel like this is giving me a girl who's been you know getting her life on her vacation this is giving me a girl who drinks her water she minds her business and her skin is blessed because of it. That's what I'm getting from this foundation. It looks so good so far, so far. All right, y'all, so this is the skin so far, and so far, so good. Like, for real, my skin looks so radiant and just even. Look how bomb my, oh my God, skin. Calm down. It looks really, really good. First of all, the shade, like, as you can see, it's a little bit, a little bit more warm than, like, my initial area but I mean it's I'll, I'll tan up I don't know if there's a shade above this that will match me I think Macau is like might be my shade there might be another one actually I should go check if they do have one really enjoy 
this foundation. I feel like it looks so good. I'm doing all of this because I'm like catching the lights because I feel like it's just it's doing it. Next, I'm going to highlight with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Walnut. This has been my go-to concealer since I bought it a while back. Walnut has been a fave, so I'm just going to apply her. While that's warming up, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Matchstick and Espresso. And even when trying out new foundations, I try not to switch up my routine because if I, if I do like this foundation, if I like the formula, I want to know how it's going to work with the items that I normally would use. Like, if it works with my other staples. And that is why I'm using these products because I tend to use these with all of my makeup looks. So I just want to know if the foundation is going to be a good fit for my like everyday looks. Now we're going to blend this concealer out. And what I love about the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer is that it blends out so well. It doesn't leave streaks, it blends out like butter. Even when you let it sit for a little bit, it's still like movable, like you can move it and it doesn't do anything crazy. Okay guys, so this is the face so far and it looks beautiful. I'm loving the finish. I'm here for the way my complexion is looking right now. It's looking very like awake, alive, golden, radiant. Not shiny, but it's like that inner glow and I am here. For it. Before I set my makeup, I'm gonna go in with this NARS liquid blush. And I've had this for a while, but I never really used it. I don't know why. But to keep it all in the fam, I'm gonna use this one and the shade. The, 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 the color I have is Torrid. It's a gorgeous peachy coral color. And I'm going to apply this to the butt of my beauty blender, just like a little bit of it. Shake her up. This is very liquidy. And I just feel like if I put my fat my powder. If I put my powder on first, it's going to do some weird patchy stuff that I just, I can't allow that to happen when my skin looks as good. We did all this hard work only for the patches, not here for it. So I'm gonna do it while I haven't set it yet and just apply like a small amount and I can build up. Like literally it's like a dot and I'll build from there. But I'm gonna apply this to my cheeks. That is so pretty. That's really pretty. It's very like natural. Kind of like makes you not want to set your makeup. It's so pretty. It's very subtle and it gives you like a natural blush. Like a natural, like you're literally blushing. Like, oh my God, you made me blush. <laughs> it's giving you, <laughs> it's giving you that look. This will be perfect for a natural makeup look. Like when you really don't want to wear anything anything on your face so you just kind of want to look like alive, awoke, awoke, awoke. You want to look awoke. <laughs> yeah, this would be perfect for that. What is up with this ham? Okay, I kind of went a little ham on this side, Jessica. You was getting a little bit too happy and excited. Girl, calm down. Even with like getting overzealous with the blush, it still like blends out really well. Doesn't that look pretty, guys? I look all youthful, oh my God. I don't even want to set this makeup, it looks so good. I don't want to even set it, like I feel like but, I, but I'm not gonna play myself, I'm going to set it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Sasha Buttercup and just set the areas. And then on top of that, I go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I believe this is deep or dark. And I just go like around the perimeter of my face with this one. I don't really touch the inside, but I go like on the outside of my face. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna complete the rest of my face off camera and then I will be back with my final thoughts. All right, guys, so before I finish my look, I wanted to show you guys this lippy. I've had, I have actually two NARS, um, they're liquid lipsticks. This one is in the shade of, 
done it again and it's this dark like brown color and then I also have this one in the shade slow ride and it's a nude color should I show you guys both let's show both this is their pomegranate lip pigment in the shade slow ride I'm gonna try this one on first All right, so this is Slow Ride. It's a really gorgeous, like, mauve nude. It's so pretty. Actually, it's like a dark, peachy nude. It's like a matte formula, liquid lipstick. It doesn't feel drying. It feels good, and this shade is so just, I'm here for this shade. Next, I'm gonna go in with Done It Again. All right, so this is done it again, and I love this dark brown. It's so pretty. This is gonna be the lip for the look. All right, y'all, so this is the completed look. I absolutely love this look. So here's my thoughts on the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I love this foundation. So far, my skin looks so freaking amazing. I love the finish of the foundation. Now, I don't feel like I look super radiant, like how I felt. I looked with the sheer glow. I feel like sheer glow gave me more of like a oily, not oil, but I did end up oily when I used this. Um, but with this one, I feel like I'm a little bit more matte. So I don't know if I'm supposed to be matte. I don't mind matte because I do have oily skin, but I feel like my skin just looks so good. So I do prefer this one over this one. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give sheer glow another try. I'm not just gonna just toss her out. I'm gonna give her another try and then I'm gonna compare it to this one but so far just based off of my memory of this one I like this one way better it definitely does have a natural finish um, it says that it's transfer proof how my skin feels right now you guys it feels it feels like it's not moving <laughs> and I mean that in a good way like it doesn't feel like I feel like this foundation literally sets like after you've done your setting it's like locked in place that's what I feel I feel like it's super locked in place I feel like it's controlling my oils like I don't know I feel like it's gonna take some time for my oils to kind of like kick in which is a good thing if you have oily combination skin. I really do believe this might be transfer proof. I really do, just based off of how it's feeling right now. Now, I'm not gonna go run up to someone and just hug them and you know wipe my makeup on their shirt, but just how it feels right now, it feels very like set. Like it feels like it's set in place. It's like taking a minute for my oils to kick in. So that's a good sign for someone like me who has oily combination skin. I don't see any settling in my lines. Let me bring you guys closer. But here is a close up. It's like sit in there you guys. And so like this is my problem area. This is where I get the most creasing but right now I don't see any like bad creasing. And for my foundation being on for like an hour and a half and me talking and drinking my coffee and stuff. Um, it's not bad at all like it looks really really good and because it is set so well i feel like this is a fade resistant foundation like i don't feel like your foundation is gonna move all over the place i don't feel like it's gonna shift i don't feel like you're gonna have to even like touch up just based off of right now how i'm looking and feeling i don't feel like you're gonna have to like touch up your makeup throughout the day it worked well with my other products so i give this a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10 is pretty good. I really like this. I feel like this is my NARS foundation compared to, I did try the All Day Luminous, didn't like that. I bought Sheer Glow. She was meh, she wasn't like popping or anything like that. I'll give her another try. But this one definitely first impression was the best one out of all the NARS foundations that I personally have tried. I really love this, love the lippy. She doesn't feel drying at all. She's popping, she's cute. Take me out to the beach, take me on the, take me on a resort. You know what I'm saying? Give me my tan and give me my life. <laughs> that's the, that's the vibe that I'm getting from this look. So yeah, y'all, that is my first impression and my little try of the NARS, the new Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, 9.5 out of 10. She's amazing. If you haven't tried her, definitely give her a try. If you have tried it, let me know down below in the comment section how you enjoy this foundation. Like, did she did she work out for you? Did she not work out for you? Let me know. Also, let me know what other foundations and makeup products that you guys would like me to do a first impression on. Yeah, y'all, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Do not click out, girl, before you subscribe.
give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!